Welcome everyone another week. Uh, this week we're going to go over an awesome automation to be able to follow up on birthday reminders for your leads or your clients. Um, and we can set up the system in such a way to be able to follow up in, in all kinds of uh, in all kinds of scenarios. Uh, but we're going to make just a real simple build out for today. So right now we're in our workflow builder. And uh, the way the workflow builder is set up is we're going to start with a trigger that's going to activate it. So it's going to actively pull a contact into the workflow. So we're going to click right into here. And we are going to select... Where is it? We want birthday reminder. There we go, I'm blind. All right, so birthday reminder. And now another cool little uh, tidbit of information is you can put active filters in here as well. So we could say we want the birthday reminder to kick in uh, two days prior to the birthday. We could have after the birthday um, and when it's a particular day or a particular month. Right now, we're just gonna leave it without a filter and we're gonna click over here to save. Now, it doesn't let me save because I activated that filter but didn't designate the filter. So I'll just delete that going to save it again. Now from here we're going to send over the initial SMS. So we have all these different methods of communication and we're going to send over an SMS that says, hey, and we want it to populate the contacts first name. So it's going to say, hey, so-and-so from your friends at And then this will populate your business address. We hope all the something like that, right? And you can add an emoji, things like that. We'll just leave that there for now. Now we're gonna click save. And from here now, what we want to do is we want to we want to wait for a reply. So we're going to go down here. We're going to go over to wait step, and we are going to select contact reply, reply to the SMS step that we had right here. All right, and we want it to time out. So if we don't put a time out here, it's just going to wait indefinitely. So we want to wait. Let's say. one day right okay so now we want to know did the person reply or did they not reply in that time so we're gonna put a little conditional logic with this if else step and what we're gonna say is contact replied yes over here we'll name it just so that we know uh, what the, the step is so we'll say uh, contact replied in 24 hours and it's good to do it in the in the um, in the in the uh, to to write it as a question because it's going to look like this. So contact replied in twenty four hours. It's always going to be a yes or a no. All right. So from here, if it's no, we can follow up from there. But we'll just continue with the yes for right now. So if um, if it is a yes, then we'll send over another SMS. And now from here, we could say, wait again for another reply with a timeout of one day. And then another if else. Uh, over here, contact replied. Yes, and then go from there. But there's another thing you can do instead. 
instead of just saying did the contact reply or not because in this case if you notice the contact replied could be a lot of different things we want to know is it a yes or a no so instead of contact replied we're actually going to go to intent type intent type is going to tell us is the intent positive or is it negative negative? and we'll say positive and over here we'll write Okay. And over here, you can put a positive message. And you can either put something in there, or we can even put a trigger link that can send over to any kind of landing page or anywhere you'd like to go. And over here, we can actually have, let's name this. You can write, you know, um, all right, and then that's it. This will kick in automatically whenever anyone's birthday on your list pops in. Let's say there's a group of people that you don't want to participate in this then what you would do is come into birthday reminders and if they had any sort of um, way that you could filter on in custom fields, you can filter by that. Otherwise, let's say they, the people that you don't want to, to go into this workflow have uh, a certain tag, right? You can create an if else at the very beginning to say contact details, tags, include adult. So now if anybody doesn't have that tag, right, save that, they'll go over to no and they'll just be removed from the workflow. So you have a lot of control in workflows to be able to create automations uh, so that you don't have to be working within the system at all times. Uh, if anybody has any questions about this birthday workflow or how to create, how to reuse this concept for uh, other things you might want to get done, uh, feel free to ask and uh, we're always happy to help. And we'll see you all next week.